It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. And it's coming up next. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions, they won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started one and six, found their stride, won eight of their last 10 games, and nearly got into the playoffs. And when you think back to how they almost got in, that final Sunday night going to Lambeau Field and beating the Packers, that tells you about the culture that's already been established there. All you need now is to watch this team continue to play. They're going to contend, I believe, in this season. Meanwhile, for the visiting Seahawks, most of the pundits, yourself included, Charles, gave their draft class high marks. And that comes after a year where they struck gold in the fifth round with Tariq Woolen. And they also struck gold in the offensive line, getting brand new tackles at left and right. Struck gold with a running back who was a big time runner as a rookie. Yeah, there's something to be said about building through the draft. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So the Seahawks ready to take over on offense, and it is a first-time pro bowler who leads him out, Charles, in his 11th year now, Geno Smith. When the Seahawks named Smith the starter last season, it gave him an opportunity he wasn't sure he would get again. And then he became one of the best quarterbacks in football and sustained it across a full 17 games when he come back player of the year. Saved his career with last season and keeps the Seahawks as true contenders. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Throwing on third down, Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Lions will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 43. After the interception, here's Goff. Finds Gibbs on the check down. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. 
It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Goff now to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. To throw is gone. He'll find his rookie tight end, Sam Laporta. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That one a first down pickup of eight. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Here's gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Goff on third down. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. Patterson's kick is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Off of play action, here's Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A game there of 30 big ones. 
We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. A first carry of the ball game for D.J. Dallas. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Here's Smith now on second down. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 25-yard line. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. It's Smith under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Now that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Defense keeps him out of the end zone there. Now, will they go for it? And if so, can they do it one more time? Yeah, I just don't know if it's worth it going for it because what we've seen from the defense so far, every gap is taken care of. Everyone is sound in their coverage. No one is breaking free, and those ball carriers are getting tagged. If I were them, I'd think very hard about just taking three points and taking their dignity and moving on. And the ball's at the two, spotted at the two, so a pretty good chunk to go. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. There he goes left side. Still going inside the 30. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say challenge. 
challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 3. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Fights off the tackle at the 20. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. From the 24 now, here's a second and seven. Now Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there. And now it's third and three. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And that is incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Deep for Detroit, Amon Ross St. Brown. And take it right on the 30. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I look oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Seahawks are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. This will wind up a loss on the play, and that will bring up third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done. 
And they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Back to Walker on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Back to throw, Smith. That is incomplete. So we've seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter. Here's another good example. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Out of the gun, Smith. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On second down, Montgomery. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Third down and one. Now gone. That is caught. Touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Meanwhile, Goss throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. From the gun, here's gone. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. A big play there for Detroit. 45 yards. That's a real nice job right there. Working in the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Play action. It's gone. Man open here is Jones. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. David Montgomery, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Lions go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. 
Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 17-3. kick this one away and this taken in at the goal line and out a little across the 25 to the 27 and Seattle now ready to march out of the field the defense got the better of them last series forcing a punt see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive first and ten Now Gino on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Tossing this out wide to Dallas. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Smith. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one. Accepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do, and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Short pass here taken in by LaPorta. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. A few moving pieces on that play, because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot turn it into a nice game. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And that is caught. connection there finding his target and that'll put six up on the board just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines right perfect route a good throw in the defense they had no answer for that right there extra point try now for patterson and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points so that drive four plays and the end result a detroit touchdown
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And out now come the Seahawks. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. On second down, it's Walker. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. Third and three. Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Walker now on first and 10. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and seven. Throwing now is Gino. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Levi Onzerike charging in and finishing off the sack. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Now Geno. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. We get a look at Amon Ra St. Brown as his offense readies for the next drive. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. 
but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Now it's gone. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And he is going to have a Lions first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And there, even if you've got to take something off that throw so that he slows down to catch it, that's far more preferable than what happened there. A big miss on what should have been a touchdown. Here's second and 10. Back to throw, golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards, it may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 40. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. We'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. from the 34 here's second and four a shotgun snap for golf throw left side to Reynolds and he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range down just shy of the 20 well they obviously red man covers their partner and he got downfield broke down the defender made him what do you mean by that bro? yeah he made him think he was going to run a different route Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Throw left side complete. That's Montgomery. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here now, second and four. Here's Goff. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Patterson. 
Harrison's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So this lead, Charles, is just continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue, but all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. In the first half, it was the veteran quarterback, Jared Goff, who had command of the offense. He's got a touchdown through the air as his guys have raced out to a gigantic early lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway and he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line golf in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 21 he'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now second and nine. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. To throw is gone. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Smith now to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf, third down here. Play fake, and it's Smith. Oh, he had him. He was 
it's open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is brought in at the 21. And nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. So here come the Lions now. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them? And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Now Goff. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 37. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Back to Montgomery on second down. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Here's Gaw. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him. And oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Now a run with Dallas. Gets past one man. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Straight ahead, Walker. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. 
I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Second and ten. Sticking with Walker on second down. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Gino out to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on for the fifth time here today. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Goff and this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 18. Goff now looks to throw over the middle and take it in by Laporta. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. A quick throw there is incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Goff now looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Goff throwing again. Into space at the 45. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. 10 more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. And this is what it's been like all game long. Guys running free in the middle of the field. This defense has just had no answer for this passing game. And that's another good hook up there. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. They work now on second and nine. From the 50, it's Goff. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. Short completion, just four yards, and it brings up third and five now. Now Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Detroit! Sam Laporta, 46 yards. And the Lions have opened the lead up to 30. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Patterson now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. 
So that drives seven plays in length, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. So second and 10 now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Up the middle, here's Walker. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing now is Gino. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Levi Onwazurike picks up his second sack of the afternoon. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, all, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Now here's Michael Dixon as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He'll look to set up his blockers. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Golf. And that is incomplete here. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Goff now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That third down conversion, good for 23. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Montgomery with a good game there, and he broke 800 yards for the Bears' NFL best ground game last season. Divisional rival Detroit took notice and brought him in to boost their growing offense. 
Play action. It's golf. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Gone. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. This to the portal right side. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. A 35-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Here's second and four from the 24. Back to throw, Smith. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. The Seahawks on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and four. Now Gino. And that's incomplete. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Smith. That is caught. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now Gino on first down, going right back to Fant. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Second down and four. To the air again, Smith. And that will be incomplete. 
Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Smith now to throw. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team... They've really been put through the ringer in this one. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this a quick slant to lock it. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone. Man, you name it, make sure he gets a lot of angles. Smith throwing again. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 20-yard line. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. And he's gonna get this one down inside the 15. 55 yards on the ground for him so far. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you wanna call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now second and three. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. Call it a gain of a yard. And now we've got a third and three. Gino now to throw. This is the tight end fan. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of 4, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Now Smith. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. In a game that hasn't gone your way, you've got to throw in the end zone at every opportunity and hopefully climb back in as much as possible. He put way too much on that throw, though, and that shot ends up with nothing. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Here's Smith. Out right to Smith and Jigba. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Here's Smith. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. There's Charles Harris getting home for the sack. 
Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So illegal touching, Charles. If you set foot out of bounds as a receiver, you can't be the first to touch it. You nailed it on that one. You've got to be mindful of the sideline. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. Off to the races. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. A big play there for Detroit. 66 yards for him on the ground. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. From the red zone now, Goff. That's complete to Laporta. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The result only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Now Montgomery. And the agility got him a few extra before he's taken down right at the 10. 129 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Patterson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort. The last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll come up facing third and five. Now it's Smith. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. 
through the middle of the field. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, 70 yards. And the Seahawks are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about or really grasp onto in this game. They've been dominated, but at least they get a late touchdown here, something positive to put on film for tomorrow's session. Yeah, they're still trying to execute, trying to get some positives on their board and, and ledger sheet and keep this from being a total loss. Give them credit. They're going down fighting. To the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. From the 25, here's second down and seven. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far... That's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Throwing on third, Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Third and five. Goff now looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 31-yard line. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because... Who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense... They certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.